Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. And today we have another repair video for you. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you'll stick around. Mm -hmm. So today we have a globe that was recently featured in one of our new Snow Globe videos. Uh, this was in episode 171. And this is a globe that we had uh, originally planned on fixing and giving to Allie's mother for Mother's Day, but unfortunately we just ran out of time mm -hmm. and could not do it. So uh, this is one that uh, we wanted to fix for Allie's mother, uh, but also we received two uh, subscriber requests for this one. So uh, TJ's Animatronics and Dark and Charlie XO, uh, two of our subscribers that wanted to see this fixed. And so uh, kind of time here, it's gonna be late. Uh, mm -hmm. a, late, a late Mother's Day gift, but uh, uh, Allie and her mother found this uh, globe at the, th at the uh, flea market. They did? Yeah, they found it at the flea market, and uh, Allie's mother's a huge uh, Gone with the Wind fan, uh, and uh, uh, we've seen the movie, mm -hmm. Gone with the Wind. Uh, you know, it was a good movie, but uh, this is an interesting globe, and I, I find this globe interesting because of the base, but uh, let's start in the globe here. So um, just to recap here on this globe, we've got... Uh, Scarlett O'Hara being carried up the stairs by Rhett Butler here. Uh, those red velvet uh, stairs, that red carpeted stairs there. There's the banister. And he's carrying her upstairs. But on the base, we have this plaque here that says Gone with the Wind. And the entire base is engulfed in flames all the way around. And uh, this is when uh, I believe it was General Sherman set the uh, city of Atlanta on fire during the Civil War. And you can see uh, all the, the buildings and the houses on fire, everything's in flames. You got soldiers and horses. Uh, we got a train over here. Uh, looks like we got a, a horse and maybe what's left of a uh, carriage or wagon in the flames here burning. So a very interesting globe, very cool uh, base that I've never seen something like this before. The entire thing's in flames, but uh, very, uh, very much uh, in honor of the of uh, the movie itself. So, uh, as you can see, it's got uh, yellowish brown water. Uh, it's got a bunch of water missing, and the music box has been overwhelmed. Yeah, it's uh, it's not working. It's stuck. So we're gonna see if we can get that fixed today. So, join us for this. Uh, join us for this repair. All right. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, cover off of here. So, Al, if you can heat that up, we'll see if we can pry that off of there. Mm. All right, there we go. All right, the uh, barrel looks like it's got a little bit of oxidation on it, but everything should be okay there. It. Uh, yeah, it's definitely stuck. All right, we'll work on that. Oh, we'll work on that in a little bit here. All right, so next we're gonna get this uh, stopper out of here. Mm -hmm. Al, if you could hold that. Sure. I'll try to get that stopper out of here. Okay, turn. It's a good size globe. It's a good size globe, yeah. Oh, wow, that came out fairly easy so far. <laughs> Probably why the water leaked out. It's mm, not a not a very tight it, fit. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> exactly say. all right, so there's a figurine. Rhett Butler, Scarlett O'Hara. We'll clean this up. Make sure the stopper is clean. Make sure the use some uh, dish soap and uh, a soft brush to kind of clean this all up. And then we're going to pour this yellow brownish water out and put some fresh water and glitter. All right, on. everything's clean, and we're ready to uh, fill this back up. This is a four and a half inch globe, holds 28 ounces of water. We're gonna do 30% glue, which is gonna be approximately 17 tablespoons of glue. So let's go ahead and fill it with water first. Could you hold that please? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna use our snow globe water here, which is uh, filtered water plus a uh, couple of tablespoons of alcohol per gallon to inhibit uh, bacteria and algae. So we're gonna pour that uh, about maybe there for now. Yeah, right there. Okay, so now we're going to put 17 tablespoons of glue in here before we move on to the next step. So, <laughs> here, all right, it's gonna be a lot of glue. Here we go. 
All right. That is approximately 17 tablespoons of glue there. Okay. Oh my That was goodness. a lot of glue. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and stir that up. And as we've mentioned in the past, the glue helps to slow down the fall of the snow or glitter. I like the snow to fall slowly. Yes, you know, it, uh, falling slowly always looks better. Mm -hmm. And the glue thickens the water up to do that. And when you start to stir, it'll be cloudy. And then if you keep going, it, uh, it clears up. And once the water turns clear, then you've got it all dissolved, ready to go. So it looks like, uh, looks like we're ready to go. Okay. So now, Ali has picked out some uh, glitter to go with this. <clears throat> well, I, uh, I didn't want to go orange, you know? Mm-hmm. Not really big fan of the color orange, but and I want to I didn't want to go red. Well, we thought about red and orange because of the flames on the base, but uh, so Ali has an idea here I of going with the gold. Copper. Copper. It's copper. Oh, is that copper? Okay. I thought copper would be a good compromise. Copper. Okay. Well, copper goes with the plaque on the right. front, and it also the copper also goes with the uh, with the the stairs and the banister over right. here. Right. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so. And then I was going to put a little bit of this uh, iridescent white. Iridescent white, yeah. just to kind of offset the copper a little yeah. bit. Yeah. There we go. It's mm -hmm. like a storm of, of gold in there. Right. All right, there we go. All right. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Not all the way, but pretty close. There we go. Yeah, I like the copper. I think it's good. It'll look good, I'm sure. All right. Now, if you could hold that, Allie. I think I can. Yes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and wet the stopper. And as usual, we forgot to mark the position of the stopper, but uh, it's pretty easy to tell which way it goes. Uh, Front and center. Right, because they're facing forward, and here's the plaque right there. So we're going to put them in just like that, and that's pretty much how they came out. Let's see. That looks, that looks good right there, right? Um, let me see. I think so. Yep, yeah. that looks good. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without an air bubble. Sometimes we get lucky. Let's see. And possibly, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna get my gonna get my little screwdriver here. Well, that now I, the question is: Remember, we didn't think it was a tight fit. Yeah. Um, will we get an? Will, can you get it without an air bubble? Then keep the yeah. air bubble away. We're, we're about to find out. So I stuck my little screwdriver in here to give the uh, air and the uh, and the water a place to escape as I push the stopper in. And as when I get it almost all the way in, let's see. Does it feel like it goes in easy? Yeah, the, the stopper actually went in real easy. So let's see. Hey, look at that. I did it. No air bubble. It happens every once in a while. I'm going to move it around here, make sure, maybe tap it. No, no air bubbles popped up. So that's good. Okay, so we don't have to uh, remove the air bubble today. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let this all dry here. And then we're going to work on that music box. So a little surprise on the music box here. Uh, normally when these uh, music box mechanisms are uh, overwound and, and stuck like that, uh, we have to remove the uh, music barrel or loosen it up to uh, release the spring. And in the past several times that we've done that, the, the spring released, you know, all at once and uh, looks like it either broke on release or maybe was broken to begin with, but we never got them to, to actually work once we did that. We were going to do something a little different this time to try and avoid that. But what happened was we uh, took the little regulator over here and I just happened to try and spin it with my hand mm. and all of a sudden it started working. So now mm. it's... So there it is. It's working now. Yeah, we didn't have to really I do didn't, anything. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything to this one. So spinning that regulator, some people call it a governor, uh, got things moving. Governor. Yeah, governor. It got things moving and uh, everything looks good. So that's uh, Tara's theme. We'll listen to it here in a minute once we install it into the uh, bottom of the uh, globe here. We'll set that aside for now. Huh? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and seal this globe before do we that? put the cover on. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and take our hot Still glue. Still no bubbles. Still no bubbles. Nice. Good. Excellent. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, put a bead of glue over the stopper in the glass. And hopefully it won't leak that water out again like it did before. 
Okay, so here we go. Just let me know when you want me to turn it. Okay. Uh, I think you can just hold it right where it okay. is. And it should Only be fine. Only because I can't see where you're at until right about now. No problem, I've got it. Hold on. Yep. All right, so uh, we've got glue all the way around, and uh, uh, and it's all covered over the uh, the. But you see, it says some bubbles here. Those bubbles are just a little bit of water that uh, that uh, are probably still in between the stopper and the glass. So Allie's going to pop those bubbles with a screwdriver, because if you don't pop those bubbles, and later on they pop on their own, there might not be any glue under the bubble, and it'll create a leak. Okay, so as soon as you get all the bobbles popped, you got them? I think I do. Okay, I'm going to put some extra glue where those bubbles were. Just to make sure we seal that up and don't have any issues with it. I do enjoy and popping bubbles. She likes to pop those bubbles. <laughs> all right. So, so we've got that on there. Now, we're going to go ahead and put three drops of glue on the base. One, two... And oh, sorry. <laughs> three. Okay. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the cover back on here. Three drops of glue is all you need. All right, we're gonna let that cool and we're gonna take a look at it. Three hairs and some air. Mm-hmm. Three hairs and some air. As as BR would say. Uh-huh. All right. There she is, all finished up. Yeah, it looks good. It looks real good, especially now that it has clean water mm -hmm. and it's full of water. So yeah, the because uh, you can see the the figurine uh, much better now. The water's amplifying the uh, figurine. It's uh, or magnifying, I should say. And uh, now that the water is not halfway down the globe, yeah. you can actually have clearly see uh, oh, the know, figuring. What's funny is when we found it, the guy was asking 10. And I was like, we take five. And he's like, sure. <laughs> well, ha since it was missing half the water, he was lucky to get five probably. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so and Ali, uh, so as you saw in the video, 30% um, glue, four and a half inch globe. Uh, Ali put in the copper and uh, iridescent white glitter in there and 30% uh, glue. You see how the uh, the uh, glitter is hanging there and uh, looks pretty good. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I think your mother's going to like this one. I think so. And so uh, on the way out, let's go. And this was a much uh, quicker uh, repair than we expected. It went, yeah. it went pretty fast, especially since that uh, that uh, music box mechanism decided to cooperate with us. It, yeah, uh, it I honestly, actually. I honestly thought that was going to take some. I, I didn't think we we're going to get it fixed that easily, but uh, that this particular time we got it fixed. So let's go ahead on the way out. We're going to go listen. This is um, the name of this. I now I recognize the tune. Uh, definitely have heard it more, uh, many times, but I didn't realize the name of the tune was Terrace Theme. But I do remember it from the movie. So let's go ahead and wind this up. I remember as a kid watching this, thinking this was a long movie. Yeah, it's a very long movie. Alright, here we go. Shake her up. Alright, we'll shake her up a little bit here. Listen to music while she's doing her thing. And there we go. Gone with the wind. All fixed up, restored, and uh, rescued. Rescued from potentially the trash. Mm -hmm. So... We'll give this to Allie's mom the next time we see her. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learned something here uh, about uh, fixing these, uh, fixing your own globes, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Check out our links. We yeah. have a few. Yeah, we got some links coming up to some of our other videos if you're interested. And don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share. And um, hopefully... Uh, we see you in the next video, so everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.